amigos, so I'm going to show you guys, um, give you guys a mini tutorial of how I did my skirt. And I say mini tutorial because I already did it, I didn't film it. So I'm just going to give a rundown of what I did and I'm going to break it down as best as I can. Just to fulfill your guys' understanding and you guys get the gist of what I did. I was not planning on making this skirt, I had the material so I was just like... You know why not there is a black curtain that nobody was using in the house so I was just like hey can I borrow this curtain I can make something out of it and then there was like okay cool so I made the Selena Sionaves skirt and I'm gonna show you guys just give you a rundown of how I did it so first thing that I'll do is that I'll have the skirt. Of course, you have your skirt. It's boom like this. Then you're going to fold it in half. Make sure your seams are connecting. And then you're going to fold it in half one more time. So I fold it three times. I'll have my section ready to start doing the designs. And as you can see, what I did was that first thing that I did was that I outlined the outside of how her skirt was, and then I cut it, and then I continued doing her designs. The next cut, I'm about to show you guys how I did it. Okay, so going over the design, so I tried to mimic her designs off of her skirt as best as I can, and this is what I came up with. Of course, this is going to be the outer layer of her skirt. So, originally, if this was the skirt, you will be cutting along the edge of the bottom of this pattern to get that little flower pattern look that she has on her skirt. So, this part of the skirt was the first part I will work on because it just seems like it's like the larger part and it's taking up the most space. So, this is what I'll do. Like, first, I'll start off. With this pattern then I'll just keep going and I draw um, drew the design in pencil first just so I don't make any mistakes but I'm just going over this just to show you guys what I work with first second third things like that step by step then you're just gonna go in this like little square zigzag line I don't know how to explain it kind of like a maze you know it's kind of cool have you guys ever went through like those garden mazes? I haven't. I don't think I want to because I'm very claustrophobic and that will freak me the hell out. <laughs> and right about here, I noticed on her skirt, it like stops just like that. Like it has like a little space here and then it'll continue on. I don't know why she did that. I can't give you a reason why she did that. Okay. Okay. I think she was just, I don't know, trying to be different. <laughs> And then afterwards, you're just gonna plunge down. You're gonna plunge downward a little bit and then continue on and stop at the edge of this skirt. Of course, you can do the design however you want or however you think will look better. I try my best to do it as close to Selena. The shin of the skirt that looks like this, it is not even, it doesn't look super duper clean and that's exactly how it was on our skirt. If you look closely, like the designs were not clean at all. You know, it'll be one way on one skirt, then another skirt, it'll be another way. So I tried my best to mimic, like, the basic pattern or what she tried to accomplish on the skirt. Because I think for the most part, she kind of just went along with it. Along with the design that she planned. Then you're going to plunge down. Ah, oh, crap. For that little spot I messed up there where my thing broke. Then we're just going to continue, make that little mark. I'm just fill this in so you guys won't get confused. That's where I broke my little crayon thing. <laughs> it's fine. I think you guys kind of get the gist. Then last little plunge. And then boom, end it there. I gotta switch my crayon because it's like coming off. It's not even a crayon. I don't know what the hell this is. <laughs> but that's step one of what I did. That's the first thing that I did. Alrighty now. Step two. What I'll do is I'll start at this pattern here. Now the first thing I go for is this little spiral pattern. Just go around three times and then I'll stop there. That's what I'll do. I'll just leave it hanging just like that. 
okay so that's the first thing I'll do then after that I'll go into these little petal flower petal looking patterns down here and I'll start the one right in the middle and I'll go up so this is the first one that I'll start with this is the first one and then I'll go on this side with this little petal pattern usually I'll start with the lines first I'll go like this first the lines and this is without me drawing on it this is me like prepping like ignore the pencil markings this is just so it'll be neat while I'm doing it in front of the cameras and I don't make any mistakes because with marker you can't take it off so I want it to be as accurate as possible and then I'll connect it down here so I'll start off with the lines then I connect it down here and then uh, that's my second one then I'll go on to the one on this side and do the same thing connect it then I'll start on the smaller petal looking patterns on the side so I'll do the same thing lines first connect lines first connect then over here lines first connect lines first connect and then no this was three sorry excuse me moi. this is four this was five and then this is six and this is seven all right and then what i'll do i don't know why i do this afterwards i highly suggest doing it as you go along but connect the the top of the little pellet patterns and I think the reason why I did that is because I want to focus on the accuracy of the bottom because of course that's going to stand out more so if you make any mistakes in this tiny little area it's not going to stand out as much as the ones down here so I think that's why I did that so that makes a lot of sense. Next I'll go on to this area. I tried my best to mimic it. I just seen that it was like this little swirly part. Now it's much smaller on mine but because my skirt is not as big as Selena's. Um, I'm sure if you like measure it up a little higher, just like making it this pattern a little wider, like probably here and come down here, maybe it'll be just as big as hers, but um, I couldn't accomplish that. So I just went with, you know, the skills I got for right now. <laughs> so basically I'll start off like this and then I'll connect it to the spiral in the middle and then I'll continue on from the inside and I'll, I noticed that there was a second line and go there so I'll do this side and then I'll go on this side and do the same thing and then connect it then what I'll do is that I noticed like there was these little patterns going like that I noticed that there was a third line and I noticed it like kind of went over and connect with the little spiral pattern in the middle so first thing I'll do is that I'll make this little slanted shape going down here first then I'll go on um, to the top where where the spiral circle stops that's where I'll kind of take from that and do this just so it can be much neater and much ac as accurate as possible doesn't look too sloppy and then I'll continue to connect with the other slanted line and I'll do the same thing for the other side and I'll start from the spiral go down and then I'll just finish it off boom and so that's the <laughs> second pattern that I'll do here this is the second one that I'll do then lastly the pattern that I'll do is this little pattern here i don't know how to explain it let's just say it's like a some kind of egg shape there you go we're gonna have this weird looking egg shape we're just gonna start from the edge of the skirt work our way out outwards and then dip a little bit that's how it appeared to me off of her skirt you can try the best you can to depict it the same way that she did on her skirt but this is just this is my way of doing it and then i continue and then there's just this like half square going on down here so i go down to side up and then continue on and finishing it off by stopping at the edge of the skirt and then i notice that there was just this little spiral line in the middle so after i'm finished with that i'll go and do that so yeah 
and that is the third part of the skirt that I'll do. So this is, can you see? So this is the first pattern I start off with. This is the second one. And this is the third one. Alrighty. So there you go. And the little line, I'm gonna just finish that off so you guys won't be confused with the lines that's going down here. This is just the edge of the skirt. And that's what I accomplished on the skirt part of the pattern. And it'll look like this. See how I start off with my spiral squiggles, just like this here. Then I have the little spiral with the flatter, flower, the flower patterns going on here. It's like down there and then I finished off with this little pattern here, which is that. And over here, what I did with this little little half circle going on, I just used that as a fill in because I just didn't like the little naked space that that was just leaving on the skirt. And I think that was because I wasn't really accomplishing or I really wasn't taking advantage of using up some of the room with this pattern. But of course you don't want to use too much room because you want some more space to do this pattern and of course this pattern. Probably stop at this pattern once you get here and continue on with the line. Probably stop at this little spiral before you do the, the last three. I highly suggest drawing the spiral so you know where to stop and you know your measurements because you might do it too big and you won't be able to accomplish this pattern down here and you know as a lot of selena fans are perfectionists so i don't think any of us wants that <laughs> so just try your absolute best to take advantage of this space but not too much because you want some more space down here notice on selena's skirt she also has a pattern um it's a high-waisted skirt so there's like patterns going on up here as well. What I came up with, here, this is what I came up with. Now, ignore that for right now. Focus on this part. <laughs> See, this is I, um, her little high waistband on her skirt. And the first thing I did was that I drew this little part first right in the middle like the next thing i do is that i'll start connecting the lines at the bottom i just feel like it's much easier when it comes to measuring the width of course you don't have to be 100 percent neat and next thing you want to do is that you want to start off with this little pattern here i was having some difficulty with this one just because of how the pattern is one side will be you know it look nice it's up here and then the other side will be like way down here way up here so you make want to make sure that you want to do your absolute best if you mess up like i said do not freak out it's not the end of the world you'll be fine and then i'm going to do the same thing on the other side and make sure that your lines in the middle is kind of coming down far um just to make it so it doesn't look too empty up here and you want to continue on with this and then again with this and then I'll do it one more time in the middle and then I'll bring the lines down. So, ta-da! If you look at the, this pattern, you know, it is probably the easiest looking pattern. I mean, it, it is easy, it's pretty easy. But here's the thing, down and then it kind of goes underneath this pattern. So make sure you have some room here as well. Um, if you don't, don't freak out it's completely fine and there's a line continue on from that pattern and then if you notice you know it continues on onto another line it's not continuing on from the, this line so the the connections and where the lines were connecting with this pattern it was confusing so confusing and i had to start over on some of the parts because i'll mess up and i'll accidentally connect this line with that line this line with this line I'll connect this pattern with this little pattern that's going on here next you want to continue on here and then there's this little line going downwards and then continue on and then I stopped here and then I started working on the inside and on the inside you'll see there's this little line 
um like almost a spiral but not completely and then it's like it transitions into this rectangular spiral i can't really explain of course you want to continue on boom bada boom do the same thing on the other side we're going to start off with this pattern of course down down and up here then we're going to start from the middle lines and then boom now you have your little high waist pattern and if you guys wondering what this little pattern is right here basically after you finish these patterns you're going to continue on of course but you're not going to continue on with this pattern in the middle this little flower looking pattern you're going to continue on with this one it's going to be a continuation on this side this side as well and basically i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to start off with a little spiral pattern then i'm going to do the line underneath then i'm going to go down down then start doing the little flower patterns The one side, other side, middle. And of course, make sure your lines are coming in so it can take up much, some of that empty space that's going on in the middle. You don't want it to look butt booty naked. <laughs> this pattern, this pattern, then this pattern, then this pattern, then it's just gonna be like this cycle. That's what I did here. And I just put these little lines here just as a filling because it was kind of naked. Same thing what I did with kind of with the half circle on our skirt. If you don't want that, that's your choice, of course. You're making your skirt. I'm not in charge of your skirt. Do whatever you want. <laughs> so, you know, the same way that I did it here. Upside down. I seen I didn't put enough glitter on that, but that's fine. It's my skirt. Don't trip. And... <laughs> So after I was done, how I put the glitter on and everything, I basically traced the pattern that I drew on my skirt. Um, however you draw on your skirt, it doesn't matter. Use a marker, use, I don't know, whiteout, makeup, I don't care. <laughs> it's your skirt, it's however you do it, however you draw your pattern. With me, I used a marker, which was really stupid. I used like a red, like a dark marker, so it didn't show up. I mean, any marker. You put on the skirt on a black skirt it's not going to show up so i highly suggest putting something that's very pigmented on there or maybe you can probably draw it on your paper cut it out and then like trace like it on your skirt that's a lot of work but hey you only got to do it one time so that's probably a good idea so what i did was that i had a hot glue gun and i traced my pattern and after I'll do one section, I'll like sprinkle black glitter on top of it. So since I, um, after I posted this on my IG, I seen a lot of people really like this skirt and really wanted it. So what I did was that I posted a listing of the skirt. So what I'm doing differently to the skirt that I'm making for one special person who will get it first, I'm basically going to use a much, much more durable glue. I'm going to place the glitter on it and then I'm going to use a coating that'll help keep the glitter from falling uh, um, off of the skirt as much. Working with glitter, of course, there's going to be some fall off, so there's nothing that I can do to prevent that. <laughs> I, ch I can just help cause less fall um, glitter fall off by adding some coating and using a much, much better glue than a hot glue gun. And on my listing on Etsy, um, I posted it already. But that's my skirt. I'm going to update the picture. It's not going to take me much time to finish the skirt. It's um, probably going to take me a span of two days. That's how long it took me to make that skirt. On my, if you look at the listing, you'll see it says it'll take like three to five business days to ship. Because of course Etsy, it's like, um, it. a lot of this stuff is more homemade stuff. So 
you know, a lot of people, they'll make this stuff if they'll place an order and you have the settings where um, you can set it to how long you need in between uh, when the buyer buys your listing between the day you're, so, um, you're expected to ship. So I set mines from three to five business days. So yeah, this is going to be the only CU Navest skirt that I make. I only have material for one skirt, so I'm only going to make this one skirt. For and I'm going to try and actually take my time with this one. The way I did mine, it was kind of rushed. The skirt for the buyers, I'm going to take much more time. I'm going to be making shirts and hoodies because I just there's just some shirts I shirts I really want to make, and I know I know for a fact people are going to love it. So I cannot wait to hop on that. So, anyways. Thank you for watching my video. Like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.